Hello guys, it's Academic Programming, and today I'm going to be sh bringing you guys the first video in a new series, which is how to make a virtual world. There's probably going to be about seven parts to this uh, tutorial series, because there's going to be like, multiple things, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to do and stuff like that. But anyways, uh, for those of you who don't know what a virtual world is, uh, I don't know if you've heard of Webkins or like that cafe thing from Facebook or Club Penguin, but those are virtual worlds. And if you want to see, uh, like, yeah. So, we're going to be using Smartbox Server for our base. Now, m many things have been successful using this. Uh, if you go to the showcase page, you can see a number of them. Uh, you know, there's there's different things on here, and you can look. You might recognize some of them. Uh, one of the most famous ones is actually Club Penguin, uh, which wasn't made by Disney, but Disney bought it, of course. And it makes tons of money, and it's a really famous. It's probably one of the most famous uh, virtual worlds there are. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the Downloads page and Smartbox Server Pro. When you get here, you're going to click the Download button for whatever operating system you have. I'm doing it for Windows. Now, I'm going to point out something right here. Uh, the evaluation version, only, like it has 100% of the features, but it only allows 20 concurrent users. Now, what that means is it'll only allow 20 different connections on the game at one time. So, if there are 20 people on your game, and the 21st person wants to come on, it'll say, uh, no, 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 there's already 20 people on the server, you're not allowed, you'll have to wait. 20 people isn't a lot. So, if you want to actually become big with this, you're going to need to go to the shop page and Smartbox Server Pro full licenses. Now, the... Prices are insane for unlimited users, it's 2,000 euros and all that stuff. You can check out the prices. And so you're going to need some financial aid, on, uh, aid unless you're rich. What you can do is post your project on Kickstarter to get some help. But anyways, once you download it, you're going to find yourself, uh, it's like 166 megabytes, which isn't really that much. And you're going to find yourself with this EXE. Now you're going to click I agree, and then you're going to install all your program file, uh, or your Smartbox Server Pro to wherever you want. I'm installing mine into program files times 86. So you can show details, and it'll take a little bit of time to extract it all to it. Now I'm just going to say right here that in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set it up just to make it work. And in the next tutorial in the series, which I'll probably end up uploading today, uh, because... I want to get these tutorials out to you guys. I'm going to be showing you guys how to customize the interface and then eventually get to even cooler stuff. But anyways, uh, we're going to need to start with the basics. Kind of sucks, but that's what we're going to need to do. So once, uh, we're just going to wait here. It can take a little bit of time. But once Smartbox Server is done installing, we're going to go to the folder. So you can close that. and We're going to go to our folder. I'm going to go back into there. Because I had it installed, but I just reinstalled it. Because, uh... I want to show you guys from scratch. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm going to refresh it. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Smartbox Server Pro, which is our folder where we installed it to. And you'll find these different folders like start.bat, admin, docs, examples, flash API, all that stuff. All these folders are important. We're going to need to keep these. But we're gonna, what we're going to be bo bothering with mainly is the examples folder and the server folder. So we're going to go to Examples, AS2. We're not going to be using AS3 because AS3 is complicated as hell. And the only thing is, is that it's encrypted. And we're going to be using the Avatar Chat example. Now we're going to double click on avatarchat.fla. Now you're going to need Adobe Flash for this. doesn't matter if it's the trial or if it's not, but uh, this project may take you a bit of time to develop, and you're going to want to fix things on it. So I recommend you get it, I don't care how you get it, wink wink, but I'm not going to be showing you guys how to get it that way. So, uh, it'll, it might tell you you're missing these fonts, I don't really care. So I'm just going to open it, and we're going to go to timeline, it'll be set at output, you can just go to timeline. Now we're going to find three keyframes here, load, connect, and chat. Now, we're going to modify these in, like, we're going to modify these and make it look better in the next tutorial, customize the interface. But right now, we're just going to get it running. So first, we're going to go to Window, and we're going to go to Project. Or, not Project. What am I doing? Uh, I don't want that open. Uh, I want to go to Actions. 
Now, this is what we're going to be working with. Now, we're mainly going to be working with ActionScript uh, for this tutorial, and we're going to be working with some XML, but ActionScript is going to be the main thing. So, frame 1 and frame 2 don't really have much code, but frame 9 and frame 16 do, and that's what we're going to be looking at pretty much throughout the whole tutorial. tutorial. Now, in frame 9, if you go down, you can check right here. Now, we're going to need to modify this. This is probably the most important piece of code right here which is var ip string now it'll automatically be set at 127.0.0.1 for those of you who don't know that's local host uh so yeah you're just going to want to keep it like that for now until when you publish it we're going to put your vps ip right there now vps is do cost money as um as well and i'm probably if I can get the money for one, I'm probably going to be showing you guys how to set up a VPS, which is a virtual private server, if not just a server. <laughs> uh, so right now, for testing purposes, just leave it at 127.0.0.1. Now, you can also, without a VPS, host using this for other people to play with XAMPP, but I wouldn't recommend doing that. And I'm going to tell you why right after this. Uh, port, we're just going to leave, and zone, we're just going to leave. Now, why it is important not to local host is because whenever your computer goes offline or whenever your computer crashes or whenever you're not running the file other people will not be able to connect to your server so it's very reliant on you and it can take a lot of bandwidth to stream as well so what we're going to do is you'll see this and what we're going to do is we're going to add references so if you're in CS cs4 or lower you're going to go to publish settings if you're in cs5 or higher you're going to go to action script settings now we're going to click these, this add button and folder button. Now we're going to add references to APIs. So you're going to go to your program files, Smartfox Server Pro, and then we're going to go to uh, Flash API, and we're going to add ActionScript 2. Now we're going to add another one, so just click plus in the folder icon again. We're going to go down, go to Flash API, and we're going to add Red Block, Red Box Client. AS2, the whole folder. Click OK. Now that we've added our references, we're going to need to do one more thing. If you try to type right here, it will not work. That's because we need to embed fonts. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our whatever properties, whatever can contain text in it, properties. And we're going to click the embed button. And we're just going to click all uppercase, lowercase numerals. And that's it. This, you can use this as a mask, like if you don't want punctuation, then it won't let them type punctuation. If you don't want other languages, it won't let them. It'll only allow what you check off, so that can be very useful. I only want my users using uppercase, lowercase, and numerals. So, yeah. So there we go, and we can just hit that save button, and it will automatically embed for this one as well. Now, that's pretty much it. All we need to do is go to our uh, SmartFox server... Uh, folder again. We're gonna go to server, and then we're gonna click double, uh, or we're gonna double click start dot bat, which is a batch file. Now, when you run it for the first time, you'll see all this. It's basically trying to compile all of the files. After you've ran it for the first time, it will start right here, and it'll be faster. But on the first run, it'll be a little bit slower. So we're just gonna let this run until we see three lines of server ready, which we j now do. Server ready, server ready, server ready. Uh, so that means that the server is up and running, and we can go ahead and run it. So we're going to go to File, Publish Preview, Flash. And once we use it, it'll say Connected, Please Log In. You can type whatever name you want. Academic Programming. Oh, okay. There's a character limit. Whatever. Academic Program. <laughs> so you're going to click Log In, and you're going to get this little avatar circle thing. With your name underneath and a bubble, and you can run around. It's pretty cool. It'll your avatar will go wherever you click, and other people will see this as well. And you will see other people moving to wherever they click. You can also type uh, "Hi, this is me," and send, and it will do it in a little speech bubble. We're gonna be customizing that later because that looks like absolute crap. <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah, we're also gonna be rearranging this and stuff. Because we don't want Smartbox server on our game. We don't want their branding on there. And uh, yeah, we can change this current room and stuff. We're going to be changing all of that. And user list, and it has the room list. You can also change rooms. Garage, living room. Oh, 
I'm sorry. Maybe it's pass. Oh, whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, so you can make password protected rooms as well. So anyways, yeah, that's it for this tutorial. Uh, stay tuned. I'm going to be showing you guys basically how to design rooms, how to add player cards. When you click on somebody, it'll add, it'll pop up their little thing. Uh, different mod bubbles, moderators, admins, all that cool stuff. Um, so anyways, yeah, that's it. And I will see you guys in the next tutorial, which I'm probably going to be bringing you guys today. Peace.